guilty. And staying on trend, a historic arraignment for a former president as we continue our coverage. Shannon Bream, the host of Fox News Sunday. All right, so three indictments in four months, Shannon. So it doesn't seem to be slowing down Donald Trump. It doesn't, especially not when it comes to fundraising and poll numbers. He seems to be skyrocketing in those categories. Damn, bro. So he's still a popular presidential candidate at this point. Guys, like he's taking W's with all this stuff going on, guys. Is he? Like... Raisin. You saw that he put out on social media yesterday, one more indictment and it will re-insure my re-election. So he's... <laughs> Guys, he should just go post on Twitter again. I'm sure it'll help his like numbers, right, guys? He did get unbanned from Twitter. Feeling good about how this is working for him politically, it really is. It is the heart of his campaign message. They're after me. They're trying to get to you, but I'm standing in the gap. And it rallies uh, his base to him in a big new way every time there's more legal trouble for him. So what's next for the former president, Shannon? Guys, I would not... I personally don't, you know. So in this particular case, he's got a court date in August signaling that this judge in D.C. is going to move this, this ahead pretty quickly. The Justice Department wants the speedy trial option. They want this to move ahead. They want this trial before the 2024 election. Expect, though, that the former president's legal team is going to have all... Speedy trial, man. Kinds of pretrial motions. Guys, uh, every time it's like somebody that's a has been a president or is a president, they're always walking out of like a private jet. Every single time, bro. I would suspect one of the first would be for a venue. This is Fox, though. That means that, you know, they're painting him in a more positive light and like a, a different kind of what a uh, news station that's more liberal, guys change trying to get this uh, out of D.C. where 92% of the vote in 2020 went for President Biden. Whether they'll have any luck with the judge, uh, probably not, but you know they're going to give it a try. All right, guys, let's look at a few comments here. Of course, he pled not guilty. It was a perfect phone call. It's, just, it's a shame that Murdoch family well, has come at the expense of c civil society's collapse. Oh, Rupert is somewhere enjoying as well. Don't know who those are. This is ridiculous. We see all right through it. Of course, he was not guilty. Conrition is a good quality, but in basically honest people, you expect criminals that are proud of their bad behavior to wear it like a badge of honor. It, I thought it said AI Capone. Al Capone was the same way. He was a physician and a Baltimore scientist, this psychiatrist. After examination, both c concluded Capone was that he was mentally of a 12-year-old child. Capone resided on Palm Island with his wife and immediate family in a secluded atmosphere until his death. Similar similarities are uncanny. Okay, okay. Big news, DT pleads not guilty. Good job, Fox. Boring as F goes, award goes to you. All right, guys, all right. <sighs> I mean, what, what would he plead? He's not going to plead guilty. All right, guys, that's the video. Peace out, everyone.